Am I making any sense? <laughs> yeah, dude. This is probably the most embarrassing video I will ever put out. And I'm okay with that. Here goes. The first time I smoked weed, I was 16 years old. I became a daily stoner out of the gate. Grew my hair long, started dressing like a kook. I was addicted to weed. This is the life I chose. I can spare you having to take it by showing you exactly what it's like to hallucinate on acid. Are you ready? Come on, dude. It really trips me out. That's what it's like, dude. You're looking at shit and it's like, whoa, dude. Yeah, it's now you don't have to take it. The first time I took ecstasy, I was 17. It made me very affectionate. Like at the rap party for the Jackass TV show, I was running around making out with dudes, licking hairy nipples. There's certainly more drugs than just ecstasy, which come in pill form. And I'll cover them all in one go, I guess. Fuck it, I didn't care. He gave me a pill and I didn't know what it was. I was gonna eat it. If anything bad happens, that's what it looked like. <laughs> Ugh, gnarly whiskey. PCP. It's commonly believed that PCP gives you superhuman strength, that it makes people jump off buildings because they think they can fly. And personally, none of that was my experience. My experience with it was that it made me into a certifiably unhinged, insane douche. I got my own television series. How do you like that? It's humiliating as fuck for me to share any footage of me on PCP. But while I'm at it, there was this time that I locked myself up in a hotel room in New York. I had a bunch of PCP, a bunch of coke and weed and whatever else. And I was on this delusional mission to send an email to 50 Cent. I have to write an email tonight. To 50 Cent. I don't know who I would have sent it to because I know I never had 50 Cent email, but there's that. We're all gonna die. Cocaine is a motherfucker, man. I did so much of it that I burned a hole through the fucking little wall in my nose so I can thread my nose with a shoelace. Don't do drugs, kids. But I never smoked crack because I was super scared of it. However, sometimes snorting coke, my nose would get so filled up that I would blow out big coke boogers and I would smoke them. <laughs> it's like a booger, but it's not. Crazy hallucinations kick in. It's hard to tell people that you have people in your head talking to you while you're huffing nitrous oxide, but it's true. So they're telling me, huff a lot of fucking nitrous and hold your fucking breath, Steve, don't be a pussy and suffocate yourself. I met God a few times. I saved ketamine for last for good reason because it really is the grand finale in many ways. <laughs> Am I making any sense? <laughs> of course I'm making perfect sense. It brought out the worst in me. It just distorts reality in like any number of ways. I think my ears look weird. And my very last bender ever was on ketamine. This led me to believe that I had discovered the secret of different dimensions. The fourth dimension is time. Oh, bad news, bad news, bad news. I had just been released from jail with felony drug charges. Come out of jail, this is good music. <laughs> Within a couple hours, I am out of my mind on ketamine. I'm vibrating. I'm vibrating. I'm vibrating. Talking about dimensions and just all this crazy stuff with my buddy Big Reg. And I'm climbing on top of his car. Steve, 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 Steve. And there's cops around. There's a the top. Jump down, Steve. Steve, are you intoxicated or anything? Not at all. 
as fucked up as this video is, it's allowed on YouTube. What is totally not allowed on YouTube is this new comedy special, which has the whole cast of Jackass. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's just too loaded with x-rated shit and criminal activity so i called it gnarly and if you're over 18 you can watch it right now at stevo.com head on over to stevo.com for that shit